What's up guys, today we're going to be editing some creative transitions and effects. Starting off with this earth zoom in effect. For this one, I used AI. Ooh, you suck. So to create this earth zoom effect, first we need to export the first frame of the video clip. So if we select it in the timeline and then go up here to the export button and just click export as a JPEG or go to add destination and then you can choose JPEG. So once we have the JPEG saved, the AI website that I used for this one is called Higgsfield. It's a fairly new AI website with tons of video effects and different things you can do. If we go to visual effects and they have all of these presets. So let's go to earth, zoom out here and then click generate. And I've already got a few here, but if you're starting from scratch, then over here we can go to start frame. If we click on start frame and then select the JPEG that we just saved, go to upload. I use the standard model and then the five seconds. And I turned the steps all the way up to 70, but I don't think it really made a difference. And then we click generate here. Now we have to wait for the AI to create the video. So here's the video that it created for us. So once we have the video that it creates, you can click on the download button here and that will download the video. Now, if we go back into Final Cut Pro and just drag that video clip into the timeline, and this is where we need to make some adjustments to fit it into the video. So instead of zooming out from the earth, I wanted it to zoom in. So if we select the video, go to the speed wheel here and just reverse the video clip and drag that up to the original video clip. And you'll see it's not the smoothest. To make the transition nice and smooth, I had to adjust the speed of both of the videos. And it took a lot of time to get it nice and smooth. But to add speed ramps, all we need to do is move forward in the video clip Click on the video clip and hold down shift and press B. This will create this speed ramp here. Then we can click and drag that back to make the video clip faster at the start. Or we can click here and go to fast times 20 on this one will work. And then we need to move forward in the video clip and add another speed ramp at the end to speed up the end of the video clip. And we add a speed ramp at the beginning at the end. It's going to create some nice flow to the video and the transitions. And these tabs, you just want to extend, extend the tabs out so it creates a nice smooth transition between the speed. So now if I play that back, the video is fast at the start and then fast at the end. So now we can bring in our next video clip. And on this video clip, I've already added the speed ramps. So now we have a nice speed ramp transition between the two video clips. And on this video clip, I added quite a lot of effects. First of all, to create those, what I need to do is copy and paste my video clip. So if I just hold down option and click and drag the video clip up, we can make a copy of it. And on this copy to create the effects that I did, the first thing I did was go to the magnetic mask tool here and add a magnetic mask to this and just select the subject that I want to add the effects to. And if we hold down option, we can click and get rid of the parts that we don't want to keep. And then once we have the subject highlighted, if we click analyze up here, then Final Cut Pro will track the mask to the subject and then click done up here. So next I'm going to make another copy of this. And on this middle layer, I want to add some light ray effects coming from behind the house here. So to do that, I'm going to add this light ray preset and just drag that onto the video clip. On here on the screen, we can just move this around to change the angle of the light rays. I'll leave a link to download this effect in the description. If you don't have this effect, then you can also use the zoom blur effect. We'll kind of give a similar effect. Next, I'm going to copy and paste this video clip again. And on the top layer, I'm going to add like a light wipe effect. And we can do this using the color board, which I've shown before. Or if you have the effects expansion pack, you can go down to the light wipe effect and add that on. And then if I play that back, that will create this light wipe effect. And on the bottom layer, I also added some color grading to make the area around the subject a lot darker. So if we select the bottom layer, go to the color board up here. Go to exposure and then just turn down the exposure. If I turn it all the way down, you can see how it makes the subject stand out a bit more. And then we can add a shape mask here. And if we click that again and go to invert masks, then we can change this mask so that it adds a bit of a vignette to the video, just like that. I also added the 3D titles. To add the 3D titles, I use this plugin called M Tracker 3D. I'm just going to drag that onto my video clip and then click track here. This plugin is really good for adding titles and 3D elements to the video. So once the track is done, we just need to click copy track here. 
If we go over to the titles, it also comes with some 3D titles. And the one I used is this one, the title 3D number four. And we can drag that on top of our video clips. Let's put it at the top here and just trim the end of it here, hold down option and then right bracket. And on this top layer, if we click the T up here and go to paste track, copy the tracking data onto the video. And then if we click this button here and we can click on top where we want to place the title and you can see it's like tracked to the video clip there. If we click on the title, we can just move this around and then over here we can change this title size. just like that. So now we have this title tracked to the top of the building. Finally, I added a shake effect to the beginning of the transition. To do that, what I'm going to do is go up here to my titles tab, go to adjustment layer and add an adjustment layer over the top of all of these. These adjustment layers is a free plugin that you can download. I'll leave a link to it in the description. It's really useful for adding effects to all of the layers underneath the adjustment layer. So next I'm going to add a shake effect to this. So if we go to the effects tab, the one I used is this shake preset pack. I'll leave a link to this one in the description. So if we add this onto the adjustment layer and then play that back, we get a nice shake effect. And then in the settings over here, we have all of these parameters, which we can change to completely customize the transition. If you like the shake effects, I'd highly recommend checking out this effects pack. Moving on to this next shot, we have this really nice smooth shot coming along the pool, focusing on the sunbeds here. To create shots like this, you need to do really long movements with a gimbal. So for instance, on this shot, I walked across the grass here. Whilst I was walking along the grass with the gimbal, I tried to keep the sunbeds in the center of the screen so that we can use the stabilization to lock onto that area. So to get really smooth stabilization, the first thing we need to do is select the video clip, go up here to the speed wheel, go to video quality and make sure optical flow is selected. The next thing I do is use this plugin from Pixel Film Studios, which is the stabilizer 2.0 and just drag that onto the video clip. So then over here in the parameters, we can click stabilize on and then click on the track editor. Now we're in the track editor. Let's attach our track point up here we can click on the arrow key and that will go through the video and track the point that we put this target on. And this still may take a few attempts to get absolutely perfect. But once we do that, we click export data and then we can close this down. So now if we scrub through, you'll see that that is nice and smooth and we get these mirrored images. So all we need to do is move the video clip. So these mirrored images aren't visible and you can even zoom in slightly as well. So now the tracking is done, we can right click and add this into a compound clip. Now we can speed the video clip up or reverse it and the stabilization will stay in the video. So for this one, I want to select it, go to the speed wheel and then click reverse clip. And then let's add a couple of speed ramps here. So let's add one here, hold down shift and press B. And also one here, hold down shift and press B. And then we can just speed up the start of the video, speed up the end and drag these tabs out to make, to make it nice and smooth. I might even speed up the middle. So now we have this super smooth speed ramped video clip. So the next thing I did was added an effect to the sunbeds here. So let's copy and paste the video clip. And on this top layer, I went to the magnetic mask tool, added the magnetic mask, selected the part of the video clip that I want to add this effect to. And then up here, if we click analyze, it's going to track the mask to the video. So now that we have the mask around the subject here, we can click done. And then next, if we go to the effects tab and the effect I used for this one was the replicator effect and this Russian doll preset here, if we drag that onto the video, it will create these copies. And up here, we can change the parameters, choose how many copies we want to make here on the points. And this effect will animate the subject like that. Next up, we have this fake hyperlapse effect. To create an effect like this, you need to use a gimbal and walk and then speed up the video clip afterwards. So first of all, I'm going to reverse the video clip because I want it to come backwards. So if we select it and go here to the speed wheel and just click on reverse clip. And if we click the drop down menu here and go to reverse fast times 20, then we get this really fast shot which flies through the scene. And we can also go up to the titles here and go to motion blur and you can download this for free. I'll leave a link to it in the description. 
If we add that over the video, you'll see it adds all this nice motion blur. And the motion blur will just make it look like the camera is moving faster and also smooth out all the edges. So here is the next hyperlapse shot. And on this one, we're going to create a transition through this wall here and create like a sliding door effect. I'm going to cut the video clip in half because we only really need about a second for this transition. And then we can select this video clip, go to the magnetic mask here and add that. And then select the part that we want to create this transition and then click analyze up here. And then click done. So now we have the door masked out. And if we go up to the magnetic mask tool here and just click invert mask for now. So now we have this and usually we'd have to use the Ken Burns effect to add a zoom out from the mask. But because the camera movement starts at the wall, we don't need to add that. We can just copy and paste this video clip on the bottom layer. Let's invert the mask and go to the crop tool here and then select Ken Burns and switch this box so that the end box is the red one around the full video clip and the start box we can slide up or down depending on which way you want the kind of video to slide in and then right click and make sure ease in is selected. Then we click done. So now we have that wall sliding up into shot. Now we can slide this over the top of our previous hyperlapse and it will create this cool transition through the door here, just like that. You could also extend the end of this video clip. If we just add a speed ramp at the end of it, hold down shift and press B and just extend this, then we can make the transition a bit longer. So we see more of this first video clip. And we can also add in some VFX. If I drag in this dust VFX, then as the door shuts, we can add this. We can add this impact VFX to the door. And then we just need to add a simple keyframe on the scale. So this scales back and also one on the position so that it stays in place. And then we can just trim this clip and at the end, let's press command T to add a cross dissolve. So that just fades out nicely. These VFX assets, I'll leave a link to them in the description. You can download them for free from Production Crate. I also added a shake effect for when the wall fully closes. So to do that, we just need to add in an adjustment layer, drag that in, trim it down, and then we can add a shake effect. So if we add this rumble preset onto here and then just keyframe the amount down to zero. So it adds a little shake when the door closes. For the 360 spin effect, I just used a preset in the titles tab over here. I use this cinematic rotate preset. I'll leave a link to this in the description if you want to check it out. If we add it over the footage and then set the rotation amount to 100, you can see how it just adds this spin to the video. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. In the next video, I'll go through even more of the transitions and effects I use in this video. So subscribe if you want to check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video.